I want to talk about uh, the extent of alien control. You know, what is the extent of it? And what I, what by that I mean, um, you know, these beings seem to have, seem to be able to control in like certain areas of an inv specific environment, especially during these abduction cases. Uh, you read a lot of abduction stories where, you know, there's a, you know, the person that's targeted regularly in a family, for instance, uh, for some reason, you know, everyone else in, in, in the same house is basically, you know, put to sleep somehow, put conked out and, and, and uh, to a, you know, so uh, they're not, these beings aren't discovered, okay, doing what they're doing somehow. Oh, you hear this all the time. A lot of cases, like you read through, read through different abduction stories. Uh, okay, uh, say a, a mother uh, in, a, in a in a family of five people, right, is abducted, and the rest of the household is basically incapacitated somehow. So somehow these beings have the ability, basically, to basically turn people off, like turning a light switch off, off and on. Okay. They basically turn it off when they're doing an abduction. If there's anybody else going to be in the area, right? They turn don't turn somehow turn those people off, right? Uh, and then do what they're going to do, and then return the abductee, and then turn the switches back on, and, and nobody knows what just happened, including the abductee, you know, themselves. And uh, you know, from what I've read, according to uh, David Jacob, oh, excuse me, David Jacobs, who uh, wrote the threat, he surmise that uh that what's happening is somehow these beings when they take someone when they abduct a person they have the ability to basically make them forget about this by taking the memory of this in, of this thing that's the present of what's happening and somehow forcing it somewhere into the long-term memory of, the, of a person and then cutting off the trigger that would allow them to ever remember it and the only way they're able to remember it is under hypnosis um so that you know that's how they remain secretive because basically they're they, these beings have a policy of trying to make sure that people don't know what's going on they don't have, have they, they don't remember uh these abduction experiences and they do it by shutting off by basically taking their short-term memory right and and somehow pushing it into long-term memory inside the brain and cutting off that trigger it's, it's a very how they do that is unknown and uh, in the same respect how do they the people that are surrounding a, a, an abductee right a person that's not getting abducted uh, uh for instance what are they are they, is it the same i mean what are they doing to those people to basically sh shut them down so they have no idea that something's happening <laughs> I don't know. I'm 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 wondering this. I don't have any answers, right? Uh, I'm just some. It's just something that's one of the strange, weird uh, realities of this whole phenomenon, right? It's who know. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I, I could tell you from my own experience, the one experience that I that I had uh, with an alien being was uh, 1977. You know, I was eight years old, almost nine, waking up in the middle of the night, all right? I slept in an attic, right, uh, in a small house, uh, a row home, you know, and on one side of the room, I slept on one side of the room, there was a little s staircase in the middle that, you know, and then on the other side of the room was my uh, one of my brothers. And uh, <clears throat> I wake up and, you know, I have a thin blue blanket over my head. There's this weird sound. I'm hearing this weird, like, deep electronic humming sound, like, mm, and that was constant. That humming sound was constant throughout this entire experience, right? And I could see the shadow of a hand, of a three-fingered hand through this thin blanket, and I could see the arm and the hand, you know, getting closer to where my face was and further, and further away. And it was going like this. It was doing a pretty, whatever it was, it was going fast. It was like this. You know, I, I, you know, this whole thing lasted 20 minutes, right? But during this, right, during this thing, I, I, I did not want to pull that blanket down and look in the face of, you know, of this thing that was there. I didn't, I did not want to do that. You know, I was scared out of my mind. I, you know, at the time, and I've talked about this, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are probably sick of hearing it, but uh, to me, it was, it's, something that really happened and i like to talk about it and and in this instance there's a purpose I'm, I'm trying to you know understand like how everyone in my house that night they couldn't hear me 
Like, I, I mean, I was screaming at the top of my lungs in the middle of the night, you know. I'm assuming it was two, two or three in the morning. I, I don't know, but I'm yelling, you know, for someone to help. Um, and, uh, you know, this event lasted for 20 minutes, and the whole time there was this electronic humming sound. And again, at the time, I thought it was the devil. I, you know, I grew up, a, you know, I was a, a Catholic. I, went, I was an altar boy for 10 years. You know, I, I, I thought it was a demon or a devil, and I'm wondering what the hell is, you know, is a d devil coming for me for? But anyhow, uh, so the and then when the event you know the event ended but with me just i just kept on looking and, and and praying and then the thing you know i ended up somehow passing out and then i woke up the next day tried to tell everybody about it nobody believed me and you know, life went on but i always knew it was real right you know i always knew it you know there was something there and i don't know what it was and it wasn't human whatever it was because a human doesn't have a, what it what, what the shadow of the arm and the hand that i saw through you know through the blanket the silhouette it was not human i could tell you that right but anyhow uh the the point that i'm trying to make is you know during this right first i'm yelling to you know who's there you know and, and there's no response you know the arm the hand just getting closer to my face and further away you know in this ritualistic type motion you know and there's no answer and then i'm really scared i have no idea what's going on i peek out of the blanket but not in the direction of that thing but i could over to the other side of the room like i could see my brother davy sleeping he his face he was facing me and i started screaming at the top of my lungs screaming you know you know for a while you know for 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 a few minutes and he's not waking up you know and meanwhile there's this humming sound and it's, it's somewhat muffling my voice but I mean, I'm still yelling, trying to yell over it, and then I'm really terrified. He's not responding at all. He's just just sleeping, and then I start yelling for my my mom and dad. You know, for a while, for like five minutes. You know, in pure horror at this point. You know, pure absolute terror, and they're not coming. Nobody's coming. Nobody's responding. So I don't know what happened this night. You know, uh, but whatever it was everybody in my house and then plus i had uh, a sister another well one of the sisters wasn't born yet um um uh, and but i had another uh sister she was pretty young but you know i and i had another brother too and n nobody nobody heard this nobody heard my yelling nobody responded nobody came to the rescue and god knows what would happen if they did i mean you know, I always look back and I wonder, what if I would have just tried to jump out from under the blanket and try to run down the steps? I, I don't know what would have happened. I, I don't know. I don't know. See, I, the, the problem with trying to do that, the way the bed was set up, I would have had a, it would have been tough. I would have had to jump over the, the one end of the bed and it would have been tough to do it. Uh, besides that, I didn't want to risk, you know, having to face whatever this thing looked like. But again, during that event, you know, I experienced this where I'm trying to <clears throat> reach out, trying to scream, yelling at the top of my lungs and nothing, no response in the dead of night, no response from anybody, nobody, were they all incapacitated, were, were they dealing with, with some beings themselves, you know, was I abducted that night, I don't know, w were they bringing me back and somehow I woke up and then, uh, and they were try and this thing was trying to you know go back to bed go back to sleep go back to sleep forget about this you know i don't know i, I don't know or were they about to take me i don't know uh did they did they did they uh, see that i was very upset and and they decide not to take me i don't know i don't know what the answer is you know i don't have any answers uh for this it just is just one of those things maybe somebody out there does have answers but i guess my, the the biggest thing i wonder the being these beings have the ability to incapacitate a lot of people all at once in a certain environment in a certain setting right and i wonder what's the extent of that control though could they do that to everyone at the same time on the whole in the whole planet do they have the ad that ability to shut everyone down day of the earth day of the earth stood still style you know that's my big question i don't know i don't know it's a, you know i wonder they obviously have the ability to shut down uh, a certain size of a certain size group of people at the same time, but you know how far does that extend? What is the extent? What, what is the what is the full extension of, of their control? Could they control us the whole planet at the same time? Could they control a whole country at the same time? Could they control a whole state? I mean, what is the limit? The limit of that alien control? 
that's that's a question that we don't have an answer to right now. I wish I had a. I don't have any. Uh, I, I have no clue. I'm just wondering. Maybe somebody. Maybe somebody out there in the audience has a clue, uh, but I sure don't. Uh, I'm wondering about it, uh, and I guess it'd be nice to know what that extent is. Uh, I guess you know maybe the the future of humankind might rely on on knowing the answer to that question. <laughs>